of reading many a comic book and chillaxing and now it's 9.30 and Liam and I are going on an adventure which I thought I would take you guys on. Last time we went to this place it was pouring with rain and just we got absolutely saturated on the way and then today's another rainy day so we thought it would be another really good day to go for an enormous walk in the middle of nowhere to a warehouse looking place that sells toys. That's it. I don't know the name of the place, I'll put it here, but we're going to adventure on the tram to go all the way out there and then walk forever, because we don't have a car and I don't want to pay for Uber, to look at toys. I've started collecting Marvel Legends, which I have a few back here, of Ms. Marvel and Gwenpool so far, and I really want to get an X-23 or a Beast or anyone in particular, I don't care. I just really want one today <laughs> and I have saved some money so I can pick one up. So that's what we're doing, and we're also visiting another place that we used to really love visiting that moved. What's the name of that record store? Uh, Round Again Records. Round Again Records. It moved. Yes, yeah, so we're going to visit... don't know if they've reopened. Don't... They've got, you... they've got an old Facebook post saying that they've reopened on the 14th of March, but who knows, they haven't updated it since. But we're going out there anyway, so... But, so... Yeah. Go, go figure collectibles. Work. Go figure. So yeah. we're going to go figure collectibles. To look for Marvel Legends and look for cool toys. They also have wrestling toys, and I love wrestling toys. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. So yep. I guess we're better doing it. Do you have anything to say? How good is this green juice? Ever since Liam got the food poisoning that time, remember that food poisoning bonanza from eating chicken chippies from Woolworths? He makes us purchase this juice like every week. Mm. And a every it. couple of days. And he can drink from the bottle because I'm not touching yeah. that. I don't want to drink green juice, thank you very much. Let's get going. <laughs> Whoever said it was sunny in 20 today. Show them your phone. No, I, I think it's changed since. <laughs> so apparently it was meant to be sunny and hot, but it's not because I looked out the window and saw it's raining and wore my rain jacket and Liam refused to wear his rain jacket. So now he's going to get I absolutely it's, soaked. I think it's hard rubbish day. We should look through the hard rubbish and see if we can find any treats. There was a wet PS3. Ooh, a wet PS3. Soggy PS3. Just what I've been looking for. Soggy PS3. So now we're going to walk for like an hour. To a shed in the rain. In the rain to but look at toys. Yeah, we never go out here. We've been here one time before, but they've got one of the largest toy selections in all of Melbourne. Yeah. Like, it's insane. Like, it's just a full warehouse full of toys. They've got, like, Knackers and... Yeah, it's not usually universe. vintage, which yeah. we usually go for. All these are all modern toys, so... Yeah, but they do they have, do have some, some vintage. vintage. They've got some cabinets, but, yeah, their selection is quite incredible. And we're in the middle of nowhere, remember? This is all, like, car dealerships and car fixer-uppers.
many pops. If you like pops, I'm not a pops fan, but it's like a never ending wall of pops. Uh, they had loose toy cabinets, so I chose a little friend and got a Cyclops. I'm not sure which series he's from. 2006, 2006 Toy Biz. He looks very cute, and I like the colors because they are the traditional Cyclops that I know. And I just don't have a Cyclops in my collection yet. He was only seven dollars. And then Liam bought a nice little Necker. I bought a Necker Godzilla. So this is the second release uh, Shin Godzilla they did. We've got the red. Uh, Shin Godzilla that they released I think about five years ago, but this is the, the new one and he's got the two streams and the, the atomic blast, one at his tail, one at his mouth, and he has an awesome purple finish, which is amazing. That was a good time. So now we're going to walk back that way? Yeah, yeah. So um, we're going to Round Again Records, which is one of my favorite record stores in all of Melbourne. They recently moved from somewhere around here to another place around here. So we're going to have to go on a search to find it now. Come on Cyclops, let's go! Good on Cyclops! We're on Gaffney Street. On Gaffney Street. In our uh, Coburg. Look, Scavenger's Warehouse. How exciting. degrees. Welcome to Melbourne weather. We finished at the record store and I'll show you what I got when we go home. And we're going to go get a coffee and we're going to go op shopping because it's only like one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm not grumpy and usually by now I'm quite grumpy because yeah. I get tired. Eating. And we're also going to record paradise because two years ago they told me that in one year's time they were going to unpack the laser disc and I don't, I don't forget. We're always looking for laser discs. <laughs> It's like 
quarter to four, so we've been out pretty much all day. We went to the toy store, then we went to the record store, then we went to another record store, then we went to have a coffee, an iced coffee, then we checked out the op shops, now we're home. But I thought I'd share with you some of the goodies that I picked up today. I saved all my dollars so I could buy some bits and bobs. So first off, these are the bits that I got from the record store. I got uh, Rush's Presto on cassette tape. It's really hard to get cassette tapes in Australia. You can't get them at op shops. It's just not something you get. And Rush is one of my all-time favorite bands. They're very, very good. Have you ever seen the show Freaks and Geeks? Talks about Rush a lot. Well, the drummer from Rush. Who's like the coolest dude ever? But anyway, Rush cassette tape. That was five dollar reduce. And then I got Elvis's greatest hits on vinyl. It's two vinyls. And it's literally every hit Elvis ever had. I cannot wait to listen to this. And also got myself another Dolly Parton album. It's called A Real Country Dolly. And look at that beautiful art on the cover. Look at that amazing hair. I've never really listened to this album in a whole because I just listened to like massive compilations of Dolly Parton. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then I got this Twisted Sisters Stay Hungry. This is one of my all time favorite hair metal albums. I love Twisted Sister. Yes, it's yes. yes. Very exciting. So I picked all of that up for like $35 reduce. And then we went to different op shops and I found my all time favorite SpongeBob shirt. I used to wear this shirt everywhere I went. It didn't fit me anymore as a, like, as a kid when I was wearing this. I was like 16, I reckon, or younger. And then I found it at an op shop. It was $5. It's very well worn and nice and soft. I'm very excited to have it. It's extra large, so it's going to fit me very nicely. And then we found two R.L. Stein bookies. These were two fitty each. I got the Curse of Campbell Cold Lake, which I do not own. I love the cover art on this. And I also picked up this one. Uh, it's the Ghost of Fear Street Nightmare in 3D. And it has like one of those bubbly covers. And I love that neon orange text. It's so pretty. And it has a giant bug on it. And I love giant bugs. Especially giant bug movies. And then Liam found a VHS, which never, ever, ever happens. And this is, I'm gonna get you, sucker. <laughs> and it stars uh, Isaac Hayes and Keenan Ivory Wayans. Oh my goodness, look at that cover art. This is gonna be a good time. I'm gonna watch this probably tonight. Let's check out the tape inside. Oh yeah, look at that. What a nice tape, and it's in good condition. Go check that tape, people. And then I went to a comic store on the way home uh, to pick up some bits and bobs and I got All New Wolverine number 7. I love this cover art, the two different you know, Wolverine there on the cover. And we also have uh, Squirrel Girl also in that issue, which is why I picked it up. And then this is the reason why I read comics, Dan Slot She-Hulk run. I've decided I want to try and collect every issue from it. I've read and read and read this series. This is the reason I got into superheroes. And this is one of my all-time favorite covers because I absolutely love, of course, because she's muscly, spurs me on, makes me want to go to the gym. It's really pretty, so I picked that one up. And then I got this Sensational She-Hulk cover because it's very obvious why I like this cover, that facial expression. That's a very good time. And then the most exciting part of the whole day was when we went to the comic store and I picked up New X-Men 117. And the reason this is so exciting is it's the first appearance of one of my favorite X-Men, Glob. Don't know who Glob is? Well, Glob uh, is a funny guy. He was a naughty boy, now he's a good boy, and he's a skeleton, and he's covered in pink paraffin wax, and he's highly flung, like he can take a lot of heat. And uh, yeah, this is his first appearance. It cost me five dollar dues, and this is my first time looking through it. Let's see if we can see super cool Glob. It's gonna be riveting for you guys. Oh! There he is. There he is, his first appearance. There he is, Liam, you don't care. It's Glob. Whoa. Look at that Glob! Oh my gosh. I'm excited! Woo! Today was a very good day. Thank you for hanging out with us. Um, I've got nothing else to say. Liam, anything? Is that New X-Men 117? Yeah. Whoa, that's first appearance of Glob! That's first appearance of Glob! Oh my gosh! So happy, what a, day, what a way to end the day! And now we're going to eat leftover pizza that Liam made and probably watch some more X-Men cartoon, which is my first time watching it, believe it or not. Never watched the 90s X-Men cartoon. That's it for me. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going.